the eight shape body uh, Bible guide is making sense to me. The one piece of advice I find confusing is to avoid anything at the waist. I thought if you don't have much of a waist, you can fool the eye by adding a belt or contrasting colors where your waist should be, or in my case where it used to be. Can you elaborate on why this doesn't work? I like to wear full length high waisted pants with a jacket that hits right at the waist or a peplum top with a flared flat bottom ruffle, the same color as my pants to create the one third, two third body proportion. So the reason why that old piece of advice, it works on what I call an eye shape. If you're very slim and you don't have a waist, um, putting a belt on and having some volume above and below can create that of illusion of a waist. But if you are wider, if you're broader, if you're more H-shaped or O-shaped, putting a belt on a non-existent waist, all it does, that horizontal line draws attention to where your lack of waist is and it makes us notice how wide your waist is. Um, so this is why adding a belt to an H-shape generally is not the right advice, particularly a belt at the waist. For many H shapes, your narrowest point is higher than your waist. It's actually a high waist. So the fact that you're wearing high-waisted um, pants says what you're actually doing is you're putting that horizontal higher than your natural waist. Um, and this is probably narrower than your actual waist. Your waist is the gap between where your rib cage ends and your hip bone is. So between the pelvic girdle and the rib cage. So but many of us, and I know for me, my narrowest point is above that. It's actually on my rib cage rather than below my rib cage where my waist is. That's actually wider. And so that's why for me, putting a belt on at my waist doesn't work. If I put one above, so if I wear a high-waisted skirt and have a little belt on, I can get away with that because that's actually a narrower point than my natural waist. Um, but also too is we don't expect the rib cage to be as narrow as we expect a waist to be. And so it can be a broader horizontal without it making you look chunky all over. So when we think about horizontal lines, if we understand that horizontal lines broaden, they draw the eye outwards and say so they make us and they make us focus. We're always looking for the horizon, so we're looking for horizontals. So when you put a belt on an area which hasn't got a defined waist and we're expecting that area to go in, but yours doesn't, all it does is draw a broadening horizontal um, and it creates a focus there. So this is why in my eight shape body Bible, it says don't put on a, on a belt um, and to avoid putting attention right at your waist because we don't want to draw attention to the lack of waist we have. Now, this doesn't mean you want baggy clothes around your waist. We still may want some fitting and shaping in our clothes, drawing the, the fabric in, but it doesn't mean putting a belt on it. Now, as fashions change, currently we've got a fashion for things like blouses, which are looser. You may need to tuck that in. So if you have a slightly high-waisted pant or skirt, and then you tuck in a, a voluminous blouse into that, what actually that will do is that voluminous blouse is wider than where your belt is or where the waistband is of that. And so what that's doing is, you know, giving the illusion of bringing that in. And that is the same as what a peplum does, is that a peplum, because the peplum flares out, that's bigger than the waist area. So that also gives a bit of an illusion of a waist. And that's why you may have found that they aren't too bad for you. Now, of course, you're a unique individual. The body shape guides are general. Um, so we all have to experiment for ourselves to find out what really works for us because we all are a little bit different. And, you know, there are some eight shapes have more of a waist than others. I have worked out there are certain situations I can get away with a belt, but it's only where I'm wearing voluminous garments. And so the volume of the garment as it comes in when I put the belt on it and I blouse over the top of the belt, that then the waist appears narrower. Plus also, I don't actually put it on my natural waist. I go higher than my natural waist, which is narrower than my natural waist. So this is where... Um, you know, that there's a lot of things we can tweak and there's a lot of, you know, illusions we can create and we can think about, you know, columns of color and there's all sorts of illusions and tricks out there that we can use. But the general just put a belt on it to give you a waist does not work if you don't have one. Um, because all it does is draws a broadening horizontal line across that already, um, undefined waist.